The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we are to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. Follow the path to the blue flag. First click the soldier. Excellent. Now to move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Good. Now right click near the blue flag. That's all there is to it. Now go to the next flag where you will meet some allied soldiers. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move them. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Right click the outpost to attack it. Good. Now scroll back down until you can see your soldiers again by moving your mouse to the very bottom of the screen. Select your soldiers by clicking near them and dragging a box around them. The outpost is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Keep following the path to the village. Home sweet home. Keep following. Upgrading to man-at-arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men-at-arms. The English are attacking again. Teach them a lesson with your new men-at-arms. The English are no match for your warriors. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about an invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. An English outpost. You know what to do. Knock it down. You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Keep making villages at your town centre until you have 10. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Good job! You have eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower and our victory will be complete. Great job! You have destroyed the English camp. The Battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages, and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game, the most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent Here? victories against the English. Oh. The situation is starting to look up. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your Soldier injured soldiers hope. or those of your allies. It's they can also attempt here. to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Welcome! If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Kid, Kyark, bid fear, toe, toe. Good. You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right-clicking the monastery. Perfect. You now have one relic garrisoned. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. You now have two relics garrisoned. Bring back one more and you will be victorious. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone.
You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. The English castle at Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant.